welcome to a sick day in my life. Holy shit, I feel horrible. And I look a little horrible too. So a little bit of backstory. Last week, about Thursday-ish, my two-year-old got a fever. It was like, it had got up to like 101, I think it was 101 point something. So it had kind of creeped up there, but he broke it quickly. It was like a 12 hour thing and then he was fine for a couple days. And then he got ex he got sick again with something sinusy, like runny nose, coughing, sneezing, stuff like that. And then my one-year-old got it. And then I started getting in, I started getting the congestion and stuff. Well then now today, which it's Tuesday of the next week, then today I got a low grade fever and then, and I've been having like the congestion and stuff. But then today I have been so unbelievably nauseous. Every time that I move or stand up, I get so nauseous. I hate throwing up. So I'm like trying to stay so still to not throw up. But I obviously am a mom, stay-at-home mom to two kids that I have to take care of. So I'm just gonna take you through my day of trying, that was drama, of trying to survive being sick with little ones. They are completely healthy now. They don't have a fever. They don't have symptoms. They're totally chill. TV is staying on today. Yup, don't give a fuck. TV is staying on. Athena! Oh my gosh, I hate when the guinea pigs start squeaking like that. I don't even know what I was saying, but I'm just gonna take you through my day of trying to- Ah! I'll be back in a second when my guinea pig shuts the fuck up. Okay, again, I have no clue what I was saying, but all I'm trying to say is I'm gonna take you through my day of absolute and utter survival mode because I feel like shit, but I have to mom, and that happens to every single mom on the planet. So, here we go. It's almost noon right now. This morning was like, I don't know, mediocre. It's been fine, really. Luckily, so far, the kids have been decent. My youngest has already taken one nap, which means he's not gonna take another nap for a while, so I'm really in for it now, which means I'm just gonna be sitting on this motherfucking couch, and I'm going to make them lunch, some kind of lunch. If you're not following my TikTok and Instagram, then you probably have no idea that we are cutting dairy from our one-year-old's diet because I'm pretty sure that he either has a lactose intolerance or a cow's milk, protein allergy, dairy allergy, whatever. He's got something going on and we're trying to figure it out. He also might be allergic to strawberries, um, but we're trying to figure out what his food allergy is, but there's something going on. That's also a journey right now that <laughs> I'm figuring out while I feel like shit. And I'm also on my period right now while I feel like shit. So there's like a lot going on. It's like a concoction shit storm. It's amazing, it's awesome. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take you through my day and take you through making some lazy ass motherfucking meals and just and just powering through. And also, I'm gonna let you know if I have any freaking meltdowns because I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, but someday recently, I had like a meltdown. I literally went to my bedroom and started crying because I just needed to like let that shit out. Because it's hard, it is so hard taking care of sick kids and it's so hard when you start getting sick and feeling like shit and taking care of sick kids. And then when your kids are healthy and hyper and normal and you're still sick and you're like, oh my gosh. It's a lot, so anyways, I have been like beating myself up about YouTube and needing to get back to YouTube and missing it and being like, oh my gosh, like why do you keep talking about wanting to go back to YouTube and not doing it? So I literally have two videos fully edited, whatever, that I just literally need to upload. Like that's all I need to do. I don't know why that's such a struggle for me, but hopefully this is also the beginning of me just getting back to vlogging and just vlogging little moments here and there throughout my whole week and putting together a vlog a week of just little moments of my life because I really truly feel like everybody just needs a little bit more realness in their life. I don't live an influencer life. I don't do anything fancy. I literally just stay home with my kids all day like so many other moms out there. So I really just wanna like bring it back to like what real life is like and just get back to kind of how things were when I started social media and I was literally just just sharing, you know. Obviously, I don't show my kids' faces anymore, but but I'm going to try it to include like real shit. Like if my kids throwing a tantrum, obviously I'm not going to show them, but if like you hear them in the background, like that's fucking real life, you know what I mean? I'm just going to stop like over analyzing everything and trying to make everything look so picture perfect because it's not and that's not real life and that's not what I want my social media portraying. Like I want my social media to be a comfort and a safe space and I, that's, a, that's what it's always been. So I just want to get back to just filming and just not caring and just being me and finding the people that resonate with me. 
So, if that's you, I love you. Thank you for being here. I'm gonna shut up and just like mind my business now. Um, but yes, I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being patient with me while I took like the world's longest freaking break from YouTube. But I love you. I'm probably gonna be sitting on my phone majority of the day right here because I feel like shit. I did already fold um, a load of laundry and the dishes are not like, like all of the dirty dishes are in the dishwasher and it's not full yet. So we're caught up. I don't know. I don't really have anything I have to do today and I'm not gonna work out when I'm sick. So we're chilling. We're just gonna be here and let the boys play and watch TV and do whatever until I need to make lunch which I probably will do in about 30 minutes. I just don't wanna get up right now. I feel so sick. Ugh. Also, my videos are doing so bad on TikTok. Well, really on, every well, no, Instagram's doing a little better lately, but my stuff has been doing so bad. You need me to re-tuck you in up here? Do you want mommy to fix the TV? Yeah, yeah. bless you, bless you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Is that a sneezing boy? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay, watch out, buddy. Sit back. Hey, you're gonna fall. Sit back. <laughs> Whoa! All right. You want me to turn? Grammy, what are you crying about? Oh my goodness! Is the blanket on your leg? Well, you you just put the blanket right back on yourself. Roku remote. Do you guys use your phone for the Roku remote, or do you use the remote? Because my remote sucks. <laughs> hey, what are we fighting about? Hey, mommy's trying to fix it, okay? Everybody be patient. Are you getting hungry? <laughs> what do you want to watch? You don't know. Do you want Paw Patrol? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, that one. Happy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, are you hungry? Do you want lunch? Hey, Stinker, what about you? Look at me, are you hungry? Are you a hungry boy? I <laughs> look, oh, man. Man. Oh, man. Your hair is getting curly, mister. I don't want to make lunch. I don't want to be standing up right now. Oh my god, also, I changed up so much stuff in the kitchen. And it is so much more decluttered and spacious. Perfect. <coughs> ah, sorry. Sorry, guys. This is real life, okay? My unfinished coffee because I started feeling like shit. Uh uh. Eh. Mm. Uh uh. Uh uh. That was a mistake. That. That was a mistake. Oh my god. I haven't eaten anything today. And I don't think that I'm gonna because. Oh my god. Let's make these kids food and try not to throw up while doing it. So I gotta try to figure out what to make Graham that's gonna have the least amount of dairy possible with what we have right now. So I'm gonna do some green beans. I'm gonna make him a grilled cheese with this dairy-free cheese alternative. You want some juice? I could also make Graham eggs today. I might do that because he hasn't, I don't think he had eggs this morning. Well, no, because I need to make that with something. Ah, uh, I just don't know. I need to find dairy alternatives. I don't know how to feed a child without dairy. So if you guys have recommendations, please send them my way. I guess I'll do grapes too, because they're about to go bad and we need to finish them out. What are you doing, crazy pants? Creative cheese is not melting, and I was worried about that. Okay, it's kind of getting there. We need to 
get a dairy-free butter because that will help this not burn while the cheese is trying to melt. That's gonna have to be good enough. It's so hot. I literally did stuff for two seconds and I'm like out of breath and sweating. And I'm gonna see if I literally have a fever again. I don't have a fever, thank God. Oh my God, I just feel so terrible. Really, truly. I gotta go clean up the mess I made. Dude, it's moments like this as a mom that just really make me think, why do I even bother? Like why? This is his entire lunch on the floor. Why do I even bother? Literally not a bite taken. Sometimes that is just the most fucking disappointing thing in the world. I have been couch rotting for like the last hour-ish and now we're gonna go outside on the deck for a little bit and get some vitamin D. It's finally getting so nice outside and I'm obsessed, but it's gonna be raining soon. And then we're supposed to have some fucking snow again, which is not appreciated, but, oh. You're okay, you're okay, baby. Okay, mm-hmm. Okay, so my oldest just woke up from a nap. I feel like I've taken a turn for the worse. I have body aches now. I feel like I'm kind of getting a sore throat. I just feel like I have like every symptom you could have, but I feel rough. I've just been laying on the couch. But now I think it's about time to start figuring out dinner, but I just don't want to. I have chills and body aches and I feel awful. See, I knew it was gonna happen. I knew the meltdown was gonna happen. I have not cried in so long. Honestly, it feels good. It feels fucking good to cry right now. Oh my God. I just feel so horrible. And it's so hard to do the whole day by yourself. It's so, it's so dramatic and I know that But I just feel really really sick And it's a lot Good morning. We have a fussy household Last night Charles drew me up a bath. It was fantastic Bubble bath Epsom salt. We have a little galaxy light projector thing. That was really nice And then he held the shower head like a shower so I could sit and wash my hair because I didn't want to stand Because I felt horrible this morning now it feels like I have an ear infection and I might go to urgent care to investigate that and see if I need antibiotics. But my body aches are better, my fever is better, so that's incredible news. But otherwise, still feel like shit. Got a headache, still got on and off nausea, still feel like shit. Yesterday was difficult, I cried. We both saw, yeah, you saw, I know. Um, today's hopefully gonna be better, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, it's been a little while now. I took some Excedrin and it helped my head and my ear quite a bit, but I've had a really bad headache for like, I don't know, a while now. And the Excedrin will help and the second it wears off, it immediately comes right back. So I don't know, I'm not super hopeful. I feel like as soon as the Excedrin wears off, my headache's gonna come back, my ear's gonna start hurting again. I've still been getting on and off nausea, on and off congestion, coughiness, whatever. I'm still gonna take it easy today. I'm about to go sit on the couch with my two-year-old. My one-year-old's napping. There are dishes. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna do them, but I've kind of done a lot this morning and exerted a lot of energy, so I'm gonna go sit down and chillax for a little bit because I really need today to go better than yesterday did. And I also really need to get healthy quickly because, bitch, I'm a mother. I don't have time to be sick, okay? So I'm gonna go rest. Good morning, it's 5 a.m. I totally forgot to give any updates last night. 
yesterday did get better and that's that's kind of why I forgot but I ended up going to urgent care thank god I did found out that I have a double ear infection and it's like really bad so that's amazing fantastic I have antibiotics now so I'm feeling so much better um I also got a little delulu last night when I was feeling better and started a sourdough loaf so now it's 5 a.m she's done proofing and she needs us to shape her so that's exactly what we are gonna do it's super jiggly this seems much like more sticky which is low-key what i see everybody else is like and mine last time was not so I'm so hopeful that this one is better. Okay, so I'm <clears throat> waiting for the dough right now, about 10 more minutes before I can do my final shaping and then put it in a Bantam basket for, I don't know, final proofing, but I got so nauseous. So I gotta go sit down. Okay, I'm back, it's been 20 minutes, we're gonna do final shaping. Hello, this is editing Alexia. My camera is SD card, it got full, so it like cut off the filming, and then by the time I got it like dealt with, I totally forgot that I was even filming, so I never finished that video. So here are some clips of how that sourdough loaf turned out. And other than that, that is it for this video. After that, things started to get better. I went to urgent care. I got antibiotics for the ear infection and that really helped like knock things. It took like a week. I was sick for like two weeks. It was, it was rough, but we're better now. We're good. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope this video made you feel some sort of normal because being a mom and being sick and a stay at home mom with littles, it's not for the week, okay? I see you, I hear you. <laughs> I hope this made you feel normal. I hope this made you feel. Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay, you're pushing it now. Are you good? Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. I hope this made you feel seen. Also get ready because we are getting ready to start our garden. My stepdad is already starting the building process of my garden beds and then he'll be taking them over here and we'll be putting them together together so i'll be filming that and then we have a greenhouse coming on friday that we're going to be putting up so there's going to be a ton of stuff coming of us starting our very first garden and i'm so excited and i cannot wait to take you guys on the journey with me through starting my first garden i am so excited about it it's all i think about and i spend all day planning and i'll get into a little bit more of that probably in next week's video so i will see you guys next week i love you Mwah.